Let's set up a whole computer vision system in just a few minutes. We can use RoboFlow to set up the whole pipeline. If you have a custom data set, you can just go in directly upload in there, do the data annotation. They have also labeling tools with AI models, so you can just prompt whatever you want to label your data set as, train the models in there, set up different custom workflows. You can then deploy it directly, get the code snippet, run it, and we have a whole computer vision system up and running. If you don't have your own custom data set, go in and check out RoboFlow Universe. You can find all these different public data sets. They're all available. If you want to do updatation, classification, instagmentation, key point taking, and so on, just press it here and you can see all these different data sets. You can fork them, you can use them. If they're multi available, you can run them directly. So right now, let's just go in and create a custom workflow. We have input here, could be an image. It is an image from either a video stream, single image, or from a video file. So we have our input, we add a block, we have all these different blocks available, model visualization, logic branching, and so on. Go ahead and check it out. Let's now just take a model. Let's just take an instant segmentation model. We can use public models or you can find your own. You can specify a workspace model, train a custom model directly if you want to do that and you have your own custom data set. Just upload it in here and it's just a few clicks. So let's now jump back into our workflow. Have our custom workflow. We add a block. Have our instant segmentation model. Let's now just take a public model. Grab a YOLO 11 model, we can hit save. That's pretty much it. We specify all these other different parameters, but right now we have the outputs. This is how our JSON format is going to be. We have our model predictions. We can add any outputs and we just output our predictions. If we want to do any visualizations, let's say that we want to do that. We have bounding box visualization. We can also go in and add label visualization. So we pretty much just display all our predictions that we get out from our instant segmentation model. So instead of bounding box visualization, we should probably just delete this part. There we go, because we can actually like do our polygon visualization. There we go, we have our outputs, which is going to be both now. So we have model predictions and we also have our label visualization image. So this is pretty much everything. Could also go in and do a filter. We can go in and create webhooks directly, like trigger, slack, something. If you want to create an alert, email alerts here, email notification, if we have a specific threshold condition met. Once we have created a whole workflow here, we can just save it. We can test it directly in here. So we'll say that we have an image. I'm just going to drag in one of my thumbnails. I'm going to run it. You will see the output response over here to the right, where you can see all the keys in the JSON format. So you're just, just going to load the preview here. You can host it directly in here on the hosted API, dedicated deployment, local host, if you have your own server or just want to deploy it on your local hardware and run the inference, it's just going to automatically update all of it. So now we get the preview here of the output. We have our model predictions, predictions, what are bounding boxes, confidence, class ID, and so on. If we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we will also have our visualized frame. There we go. Now we have our instant segmentation or our polygon zone, our mask around our detections as well. Now we have tested the workflow. We can then go and deploy it, roll for the hosted API, run on a local image or on a local video, pip install inference, and we'll just grab this code. Now we go into our code editor. We're just going to copy paste it in. If we do any changes inside the workflow, it's automatically going to change it in here. So no code changes are necessary instead of output image we're going to call it visualization image if you go inside our here again we have our label visualization there we go there we go and it's going to run inference it's basically just going to take our api key workspace name workflow id video reference either a video path device id or an rtsp stream directly let's now just run it on our webcam so i'm going to run python test underscore RoboFlow, we have this callback function that's just going to take all the results, going to create future videos on how you can extract all the results to use in your custom applications or projects, or you can use the workflows to just connect all of it in the pipeline. So now I'm running it here. We have the whole pipeline. We took a data set. We have our model. We can train the, the, the inside RoboFlow as well. We set up a whole workflow. We can do update counting in a region. We can do tracking triggering like different alerts and so on. We can host it on their server, our own server, local environment. We can deploy it directly. If I make any changes inside the UI, it's act like going to automatically update it in here as well. We just need to rerun our application. So now we have a scissor, not really scissor. We have a person and we also have a potted plant here. We're not visualizing our bounding boxes. 
for the polygon visualization, we can go in and specify the thickness, palette size, if you want to use different custom ones, RoboFlow ones. So let's just try this one out. So it's now going to add another step here just for visualizing our bounding box as well. So here we go. Let's just visualize the bounding box. We will grab our polygon visualization or we can just directly do it on our label visualization. Polygon visualization here. We can specify that we don't want to show anything or our index or track. So now we're both going to do a polygon visualization, bounding box visualization and label visualization. We save it. I go inside my program again, rerun it, and it's automatically just going to update it in no time. No code changes, do it inside the UI, and you have your whole workflow up and running. It's now going to connect to my webcam, and it will run the program again. There we go. Now we can see we both have our bounding box visualization. We have our instant segmentation mask, both for the potted plant in the background, both of them. We have our person. So this is how fast it is to make updates to the workflow. No changes at all. We just need to rerun it. This is how easy it is to use the RoboFlow whole ecosystem, going from a data set, model, inference, visualization, set up the whole workflow and create a full computer vision project in just a few minutes. Definitely go and check it out. It's very valuable if you're a computer vision engineer, you don't need to know any code, how to use it. You can just use it, build software systems around it and provide business value. Definitely go and check it out. Hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.